Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Thula. She made her first appearance in Invincible, issue number 75, that was released in November of 2010. She's currently the last known documented full-blood Viltrumite female in existence. Since her fellow warrior Anissa has passed away, Thula has blue eyes and is well known for having long black hair that's pulled back into a very long braid, which has a unique blade attached to the end of it that's made of an unknown metal, although this material is strong enough that it can harm superpowered beings. In other words, she stays ready. Now, due to her Viltrumite physiology, she naturally has vast superhuman strength, speed, agility, stamina, and durability that borderlines on invulnerability. But if you do injure her, she does have an advanced healing factor. Additionally, she has decelerated aging, being thousands of years old, as well as being capable of interstellar flight at speeds faster than light. And all of these physical attributes are rounded out by the fact that Viltrumites all have dominant genetics with their characteristics being able to override that of any other species that they mate with. But as you may be aware of, Viltrumites also have several weaknesses. The most prominent being their inner ear having a potentially fatal susceptibility to certain strong audible frequencies, as well as having a strong allergic reaction to the Claxus plant and the engineered scourge virus being able to take them out of commission for several weeks if it's not fatal. Now, in addition to Thula having thousands of years of hand-to-hand -hand combat experience, she's also well known for being very tactically proficient, being very thorough and cunning in her military exploits. Now, Thula was born on the planet Viltrum thousands of years ago and would be a part of their military empire under the rule of Grand Regent Thrag. We'd first see her play a major role in the Invincible Universe when the Viltrumite War was getting ready to take off. We'd see her hiding in the ring of her homeworld, Viltrum, which was a bit morbid because the ring itself is actually comprised of millions of deceased Viltrumites and serves as a monument to their fallen brethren that encompasses their whole world. But as Thula sees the heroes of the Coalition of Planets arriving to their planet, she would notify her command and spring a surprise attack on Thaddeus and the others. She and some of the Viltrumite forces would put up a good fight, although she'd be knocked out of the combat zone by the powerful Battle Beast, who we know just fiends for more and more combat. This likely helped her survive the detonation of the planet itself by the Coalition forces, which led to her being one of the very few last remaining Viltrumites in addition to her leader Thrag and a few others. These last few pure-blood Viltrumites would make their way to Earth, hooking up with and living among the population of humans to try to procreate and repopulate their numbers. Some time would go by before we see Thula again, but we'd catch her long braid in action at the conclusion of the Viltrumite War, when she actually fought alongside her fellow Viltrumites Anissa, Craig, and Lucan to take down their former leader Thrag, after they learned that he was hiding the fact that Nolan Grayson was the true heir of the Viltrumite Empire, and therefore their rightful emperor. She and the others would take part in the inauguration of Nolan as their true Grand Regent and would then go back to living her more settled and calm life, being the loving wife of an unnamed human man as well as bearing two new hybrid children. However, she and her fellow Viltrumite warriors wouldn't hesitate one minute when they were called upon by their new Emperor Nolan. We'd see Thula reattach her war blade to her hair and would go to challenge the incoming threat of the exiled Thrag and his thousands of new hybrid children. Now. Due to her powers and abilities, and her influence on the Image Comics, in particular Invincible Comics Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Thula a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.